awesome. That's the, the chords. Easy, that was good, man. That was good. All right, folks. Day two, morning. We're out here with Larry Reap. He's getting his traditional archery on. Watch your eyeball. That was awesome. Right out of the car. We're out of the car five minutes. Less. In Hungarian, the word for dough is shuta. So a lot of times an American customer will come here and the guy will be like, shuta, shuta, and the American's like, boom. And the guy's like, oh, what'd you do? You just shot a dough. Why'd you shoot? You said shoot. You told me to shoot, man. So what are you shooting, Larry? I'm shooting my favorite. It's a little big for, for Ray Buck, but it's Super Kodiak by Bear, 55 pounds. It's uh, probably the smoothest shooting boat I have. The end of morning day three. Day two for me. Hunting hard. Hunting hard. They call this cherry beer. <laughs> it is delicious. It's cold. It's wet. When you're hot after a hunt, they go down fast.
We ain't got it yet, but I heard the arrow hit that thing, and that sounded nice. I heard yeah. ribs breaking. Yeah, he's down. Folks, we got into this position, and we set up. Larry's on the, she's over there shooting. I don't know what happened to you. We'll get your story in a second. We're sitting on the other side trying to film, and we're sitting on a hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> and he calls the first time, and I'm like, <laughs> so we jump up and we start backing up. I'm like, I'm you're, molesting, you're molesting my hunt. I'm going, I'm backstroking. <laughs> and Larry's like, what are you doing? So we moved like 20 meters away. We moved like 10 meters and that buck yes. called. So Alexander was like, I'm going to call again. And then what happened? So Alexander was calling for the buck that was over there. And we were all pretty much focused on the, the buck that was on the other side of the, the, the canal there. And then out of, out of nowhere, man, I heard something from behind me, the most awkward, awkward position. And then I turned around, and the buck come right out of there and uh, went right behind a bush. He was 10 meters from me. and uh, We could see the buck. I got filmed with the go, buck on the other side of the yeah, bush. He was either going to go left or right. I knew he was going to go left or right. I was hoping he was going to go right, but he went left. And there I were was, two, actually. I was all, the doe came in, and he came in chasing the doe. He was following the doe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he uh, he ran over in there and he stopped for just a second. And I put him on my 20 meter pin and let it fly. And uh, I believe I hit him right, right, right behind the shoulder. Beautiful. He sound. should be he should be right over there right now. Today's day three. Today's day three, evening of day three, and I decided to come out and uh, capitalize on the money that I'm spending here. <laughs> so I brought my uh, I brought my compound bow out, PSE, and uh, we're using. Eastern power flights and shockwaves. Shockwaves is the way to go. It's the only thing I use. It's the only thing I use on my compound bow. Shockwave, thanks. Appreciate it. Folks, if you want to do this, you want to get a hold of us, get a hold of Larry Reeb at l.reeb at wildjager.com or me, Ricky Mills, r.mills at wildjager.com, and we can make this dream hunt come true. 100% success rate. Hi, Larry. Vibe man's dunk, Alexander. I am. Thank you. I am very happy. <laughs> I bet you are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your your box. You shoot not rif rifle. Uh, a bow. Yep. Congratulations. Thank Vibe you, buddy. Man's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Brother man, Larry Reeve, getting it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it feel, buddy? Good, good. It's always good to be back in Hungary. Uh, we had this guy. We had this guy a little bit earlier. You'll see in the video. Um, we jumped him. He was chasing a doe, um, and he came up. He ran up in front of us uh, on the road. He, um, we, we didn't know that they were there, and then we saw them, and we decided to ambush him. So he ran right up to us. And of course, I was standing there like on a like a bump on the lug, uh, and he picked me off. And uh, he made a lot of noise. He was very vocal when he went into Woodline. He was not happy that we were there. And I think, I think this guy followed us to check us out. He was curious. Um, and then we came back, and oh Alexander, God. Alexander, uh, we set up in a corner over here, and Alexander started calling. And we had two bucks coming in. We had one from across the canal coming in, and then this guy circled around us, circled all the way around us, and came up from my. Uh, from my right. I mean, this is this is probably the third, fourth buck we saw today, folks. There's so many deer here in Hungary. It's unbelievable. This afternoon, we yeah, saw this just after morning. This morning. Um, We're talking about first one I had a shot at. It's the first one I had a shot at. Yep. And uh, but uh, the last two days, I've been hunting with a traditional bow, a uh, Super Kodiak, and uh, they put hundreds me on. Of deer. They put me on. I don't know how many deer. No clue. Uh, I mean, seen the deal. hundreds of deer seen. Uh, 30 or 40 bucks in easy, the last, easy, easy in the last uh, three days yep. that we've like interacted with. So when you call, you get two, three, four deer sometimes coming in. So easy 30 to 40 deer in a three day period. Uh, this opportunity is, after this opportunity. is absolutely the, the Ray Buck capital of the world for, for an archer. I mean, if you want to hunt with a bow, if you want to hunt Ray Buck with a bow, 
call me, Larry Reeb, L.Reeb at wildjager.com. I will put you in touch with Alexander, and we will take you out, and we will show you we will show you what we mean when we say the Raybuck capital of the world. So, yeah. Folks, all of our hunts are rifle hunts first. So by no means do you need a bow hunt to hunt with wild jagger. This is a rifle hunt. Europe is a rifle hunting continent. Hungary is a rifle hunting country. But it's also bow legal. Uh, wild jagger very early in our history, uh, we're just bow hunters. We love to bow hunt, so we found the countries in Europe where they legalized bow hunting or where bow hunting is legal. And that's where we choose to hunt because we want to be well-rounded and we want to uh, offer the experience to you to either rifle hunt or bow hunt. If folks, if you want a bow hunt, you want a bow hunt in Europe, you can't find a better place to do it, hungry-wise. The Great Plains of Hungary, there's a buck every 200 to 400 meters. There's a buck dominating terrain that's the size of a sunflower field or a cornfield. And every time you move two to 400 meters, you're stopping and you're setting up and you're calling again. If you're a bow hunter and you're at home, you like hunting whitetails, you like hunting turkeys, uh, you want to get to Europe and you want to do it, and you want not necessarily guaranteed success, but you want a 99.9% .9 success rate, I can pretty much guarantee we can provide that to you. We I, will put you on something yeah. that I could reach out and slap. So we can't pull the trigger for you. Yeah, but. that's that's all we say. The only thing we can't do for you is pull the trigger. We can get you to 30, 40, over and over and over again. So if you want to go hunting with Wild Jagger Hunting and Fishing Adventures, get a hold of Larry, l.reeb at wildjagger.com, or me, r.mills at wildjagger.com, and we can make that dream come true, folks. Awesome.